Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another NBA Top Shot video. In this one, I'm going to be giving my honest opinions on the current state of Top Shot. So this has been a big topic floating around. A lot of people are leaving Top Shot for various reasons. I'm going to talk about some things that's happening currently with Top Shot and then some ways that I think that they can fix it and things that might happen just as a reaction from the community basically of what they could possibly do to kind of fix some of this stuff if you check out my account value it's 1300 right now and just a couple of weeks ago i think it was 16 1700 maybe uh, we can look here actually on on the graph on a value at market and you can see in october i guess it was 1700 and i haven't really sold much off since then and even last week it was in the 1400s and late November above 1500 and it's actually even climbed $30 uh, since yesterday so first off let's get into series 3 so series 3 hasn't gone great so far the 60,000 moments is a ton especially now that they have dipped down to just two dollars and possibly in my opinion could go down to one dollar which makes these nine dollar packs insanely negative ev because you basically have it's like a 90 percent chance maybe 80 something percent chance of pulling three 60k moments and right now they're worth two dollars so it's going to be a six dollar value pack for paying nine dollars which is pretty pretty ridiculous and pretty uh, crazy to to think from especially if we started back in series two when every single pack you could make like at least double your money so kind of crazy to see a negative value right now and one thing that i wanted to go over from this blog post that they put out about series three is there's a limit of two base set moments per player so some of those players that have a 10k moment like Lamelo ball and Jalen Brown are just two off the top of my head that have 10k base moments they're gonna get another 60k moment but for guys that we we're just looking at like Steph Curry who has a 60k moment and not a 10k moment if I'm not mistaken but definitely other examples if Curry's not they're gonna get another 60k moment in the base set or possibly a 10k moment but the ratio of 10k moments being released to 60k moments is insanely high there's seems like there's 30 60k moments being released for every one 10k moment or something like that maybe it's 15 or 20 but it seems pretty high so not a lot of 10ks are going to be released so if you get a player that's getting two 60k moments also has a 35k moment and a 40k moment that's just a ton of moments for one player to have and I don't know what that is going to do for the value of that player, but like something like a flash challenge or something, it'll be insanely easy to buy them because they're going to have hundreds of thousands of moments out there, which I don't know how they're going to combat something like that. So some ideas actually of what they can do is they could go and just start making LE moments out of 10,000 that they say right here for a lot more players especially if people aren't going to be buying these base set pack drops for nine dollars because they're just losing a ton of money on every single pack drop we could maybe start seeing a bunch more limited edition out of 10,000 base moments which would be a good way to combat that also another thing they could do is they said that they started these moments out as CC because they didn't want to raise the count so I think they said that right here and it could grow over time if necessary but it seems like if they have all they're minting all these moments and no one is buying them they could possibly maybe decrease the count by burning some of these moments which I talked about in series two because some players with 35k and a 40k moment it seemed like they were not going to be able to get rid of them and they didn't get rid of all of them they started throwing them in playoff packs and throwing them in archive and running back packs or whatever to just get rid of all these moments as just kind of add-ons so there might be a lot more add-on moments 
coming to other packs that you're buying for like common sets or something. Another thing that they could do going forward is just lowering the price of the base set packs. So right now the estimated value is gonna be $6. So why not just lower the price of the pack to $6 or even $5, which would get people insanely hyped on base pack drops. If the floor $2 and you're getting the pack for five or six bucks, seems like that would make sense because right now I couldn't recommend to anyone to go out and buy a base set pack with like a 3% chance of hitting a rookie or a 10k moment. It's just insanely terrible odds. It's basically gambling at that point and it's even worse odds than gambling honestly. So those are just a couple ideas that I had. Something that they could do to try to fix some of these series 3 base moments and then the next thing is to get people just hyped on top shot again is have a rare pack drop it's been so long since the run it back had dropped and we haven't had one so far this year the nba has been going for about a month and a half now and haven't had a rare pack drop so maybe a rare pack drop with positive ev which is very important not like a run it back pack or a throwdowns pack where half the moments or even more than half the moments that you pull you're gonna have a negative value on that pack just ensure that they're definitely everyone who gets a pack is going to have positive value. Also make it more inclusive for everyone to get a rare pack. Maybe go back to the collector score and say you only need a thousand collector score or 500 to get in the drop and then release a good amount of packs where everyone is going to get one or at least like 60% of people in the queue are going to be able to get a pack. Uh, I think that would just be a big boost for everyone in the community that still is trying to get off of these packs and still is into top shot and also just speaking of the collector score i know they made a huge deal about that and it was basically only been used for being eligible for drops and people were hyped on that before because every single pack was positive ev now that some of them aren't it's not as good a bonus anymore and not as good of an incentive for people to collect uh, to get a better collector score when they're just getting in these drops for negative pack values. So some kind of reward, just say, take a snapshot right now and say, if your collector score is above a thousand, we're going to give you a couple dollars in dapper added on. Or if your collector score is above 2,500, we're going to give you $5 in dapper or something like that. They have hundreds of millions of dollars literally to try to appease some of their collectors. It could even be like airdropping them packs, um, airdropping them a base set pack if they have a certain collector score, just some kind of more reward and benefit for having a higher collector score. I feel like I haven't really heard much about collector scores uh, in their utility besides being eligible for these pack drops, which some of them now are negative EVs. So, so it's like collecting more to line up to lose more money. The last thing I think they can do a better job of is ensuring that like good players moments are a higher price than some mediocre players or even bad players when i first got into top shot i was thinking a lot and actually a lot of what i talk about on channel is how good the player actually is and how good they can be but it doesn't seem like a huge correlation between getting good players and how good their moments are especially if you look at the 60k or 40k you could have all-star level players in a 40k moment that are five dollars and then you could have like literally bench warmers who never get in the game and their moments four dollars so this kind of seems like there should be a bigger discrepancy between the really good players and kind of the bench players for these common moments at least all right i hope you guys enjoyed this one just on my opinions right now i'm still in the top shot definitely and still believe it could be a good product and just all in all, their moments are going to go up from, from right now. It seems like we're at a pretty low point and definitely should have people a little scared that it's going to hit a point like it did in August where my account value was almost under a thousand. Actually, it did hit under a thousand. It was 939. So if you guys got something out of this video, definitely subscribe to the channel. I put out a lot of Top Shop videos and comment below what you think like the video and i'll catch you guys in another one